Henry actually, up until their victory over Savannah, which was only by 1-0, they were struggling a little bit. They had only won one of their previous four matches up to that point. So you wonder, with all the pressure on them, they've been league leaders from the very beginning of the season. They've not let it go. They won their first four or five matches by shutout. And you know, coming into this match here in Rochester tonight, be interesting to see what kind of strategy Chattanooga uses. Are they just going to try for Nagelstadt? Or are they going to just sit back and play defense like they are very capable of doing? Well, this is a very strategic match here. And which team comes out and gets that first goal? Or maybe only there's only been one goal or no goals in the three matches this season between these teams. So you'd expect the defensive game. But, you know... In that case, we'll probably see a 5-4 match. <laughs> you never know. So Chattanooga will kick off. That's the captain, number four, Richard Dixon from West Palm Beach, Florida, of Jamaican descent. He's been with the team for four seasons. Normally plays in the back. We'll see if they change that up a little bit. And we'll see how these two teams end up formation-wise. Here we go. Underway. Chattanooga moving from left to right on your screen. Long ball immediately into the Union half. Headed away by Logan Lee from Indiana. Again, he's played very well the last few matches. And we have a free kick already for Chattanooga. Union definitely does not want to give up a goal early. They've done that in a few matches. And if you're chasing the game against Chattanooga, that's going to be very difficult considering their stellar defensive record. So Chattanooga with the free kick. It's going to be a two-man wall for Flower City and a large gaggle of players at the 18-yard marker. Garcia Sosa's over the ball. Let's see who takes this. Here we go. Ball played into the area and headed clear. Well, as far as Mbappe, but that's going to be a foul in the area on Chattanooga, so it'll be a free kick for Flower City. Just underway here at the Rochester Community Sports Complex in downtown Rochester, New York on FIFA Plus. This is Andrew Batiste. Very happy you're with us tonight for the final match of the regular season for Flower City Union and their last home match, regardless if they make the playoffs or not. Taking on the league leaders, Chattanooga. And Mike Mejia, graduate of Fairleigh Dickinson, and native of New Jersey with a long free kick. Headed up in the air by Prepolita, the Moldovan. Garcia Sosa, and there's Kyle Nelson who had the game-winning goal against Savannah. Here comes Diacate. Diacate, nice tackle by Aiden Bowers. And Bowers has played every minute of every match this season, as has the captain, Richard Dixon. But an early corner now for Flower City. A chance here for Union. It's going to be Luke Ferreira and look for Kyle Nelson, number three. He's right about at the penalty spot. He's got three goals this year off corners. Here's Ferreira with the corner, headed clear by Chattanooga. Still dangerous for Flower City. Elias playing it back. I check that Bolduc. Kavanaugh with the educated left foot. Here's Logan Lee. Lee inside. Ferreira tries to make room for a shot. Can't do so. Now plays it square for Cartagena. He'll take a drive wide of the mark. Goal kick, but good attack there by Flower City to start the match. So it'll be Jean Antoine. Big goalkeeper at six foot three, 29 years old. You wonder if he might get a call up to the Haitian national team at some point because. Last two seasons, he's been impregnable in goal for Cal United and now Chattanooga. Coming forward is Kapuzuki. I love saying that, being Italian myself. That's a bad giveaway there. Here comes Flower City. Ferreira, five assists this season, leads the team. Ferreira has an overlapping run from Kavanaugh, looking to get with that left foot. Does so into the box and into the side netting. But it's going to be a corner. Looks like it was deflected out. So already two early corner kicks for Flower City. And boy, would they love to get an early goal here to put the pressure on Chattanooga. As I said earlier, Flower City has yet to score against Chattanooga this season, but they've only given up two goals. 
Union has played pretty much every match close this season. There's been no no blowouts. It's much different from last year. Here comes Ferreira with the corner. Into the area, short. Comes out for Nelson. He'll chip it far post. And it's a little too far for Steven Elias. And then it'll be another goal kick. But again, Flower City attacking and taking advantage of a couple of mistakes made by Chattanooga in the first five minutes. Antoine taking his time. I think Chattanooga would be very happy with the point here. Okay, we'll see how this game unfolds. McGrath. Pepelita. Long ball downfield by Perez. Headed up in the air. And now won by the visitors. Richard Dixon, the captain. Off to the far side. And down the touch line. And a good tackle made by Cartinia. Still Chattanooga. But given away again. Bad giveaway there. Boldick. Ferrer tried to break out but didn't have a chance to do so. And now ball a little too far for Elias. And Malik Stewart, the speedster for Flower City, on the bench. You wonder if Coach Sullivan will use him in the second half. Well, maybe the legs are getting a little tired. He has breakaway speed, does Malik Stewart. He had the assist on goal number four for Union on Tuesday against Savannah. Scored by Logan Lee. Chattanooga in the in the Flower City half, but another bad pass. So far, the the speed of this turf is affecting both teams. A little more to Savannah as Kapazuchi zipped that pass right into touch. Kavanaugh with the throw in. Looking for Diacate, gets his head to it, but Kapazuki wins it. Garcia Sosa, Wepe. Chris it cross in and cleared out by. Flower City and Bolduc gets bumped from behind. No call. Nice play there by Chattanooga to get away from Diacate. Mwape from Zambia. He's five foot five, but very dangerous. Richard Dixon. Kapazuki. Back for Prepolita. Bowers. A little... Something on his right hand there. I'm not sure if he had an injury to that wrist, potentially. There's Garcia Sosa. Mwape. Mwape gets onto his left foot. Gets the return ball from Dixon. Chattanooga with some possession here in the seventh minute with no score. Play the far side for number three. Joseph Perez, and we're going to have a foul called, I believe. It's going to be a free kick for Chattanooga, and just inside the halfway marker. Perez, played forward. There's Nagelstadt, his, pretty much his first touch of the game. They've done a good job so far keeping him off the ball. But he's very dangerous, as we all know. Diakate trying to run into that ball. You can see that ball skip. And Antoine will pull him out of his net to play it to Kapazuki. Dixon with a long ball over the top. And a nice play by the veteran Noah Cavanaugh to put it into touch. So a throw in for Chattanooga. In the all-blue strip with white numbers. Flower City in there, lilac and black tonight. Kapazuki with the throw in. Mbappe. Garcia Sosa. Kapazuki again, little triangle there. Ball played in through for McGrath and off his line quickly is Mike Mejia to scoop it up. So that's some nice work there with some short passing and breaking free there again. McGrath. From England has six goals and four assists this season. Went to Appalachia State University. More known for their football program, I think, than soccer. But 
There's Roby Quiselli, the captain, playing it back for Mejia. Long ball looking for Elias. Is cut out. Dixon gets it. McGra oh, Kapazuki is taken down, and Mr. Reynolds blows the whistle. It'll be a free kick. Garcia Sosa. Wepe. Played up field for McGrath. Gets the cross in, but no one there but Mike Mejia to gather it in for Flower City. Like his usual neon green. And Sean Antoine in his orange strip. Kavanaugh, long ball, looking for Boldick. Comes off ahead of Ortiz, but won by Chattanooga. Bowers to Prepolita. Both teams being very coy right now with the ball. McGrath is pressured by Logan Lee and forced to go back to Boyers. Bowers, check that. Dixon, Ferrer right on him. Flower City marking very closely so far. And Ferrer wins the ball. He'll play it back for Nelson. Kyle Nelson from Austin, Texas. Played, every, start, played and started every match this season. Last year played for the Michigan Stars, the defending champions. Perez, you can see him got that swaft of blue hair. Flower City with the throw. And one well by McGrath. He gets the return ball. Chance maybe here for Chattanooga. Mwepe. There's a cross inside over the head of Nagelstadt, but it still might stay in play. It does, but it's won by Nelson. He plays it off of a Chattanooga player and will go out for a throw for Flower City. Nagelstadt was running free there, but Wape couldn't find him. Chattanooga's played a little bit better in the last few minutes. They've not had any stray passes. And that's going to be a free kick for, Flower, for Chattanooga. And is it going to be a going to be a booking potentially this early on? Is this going to be a talking to by Mr. Reynolds? As Ortiz came in hard on that challenge, it'll be a free kick for Chattanooga. Twelfth minute, no score. Mr. Reynolds saying, got to move back a little bit further, Mr. Diacate. There's no lines. He doesn't have the, the disappearing spray. Long ball into the box. Had it clear. Flower City wants a foul, wanted a foul there. No call. Now they are going to, now they got a little extracurriculars. There's a hard challenge in the back, and Mr. Reynolds decided not to make a call there. Both teams know the importance of this match. Let's see that again. Here's the free kick in. And it's cleared out, and there's a very hard challenge after the fact, and then a little bump. And both teams now getting a talking to, saying, don't do that again. You're going to see yellow. Nelson getting a talking to, as is Anatoly Prepolita, two very tough characters. There's the captains Dixon and Quiselli over there as well to keep the peace. Nelson saying, I didn't do anything, I was fouled. Now let's see whose ball it is after all that. I believe it's going to be a free kick for Flower City. There was another foul on the touch line. Or maybe it just might be a throw. So actually, we are, now we are going to have a booking. It's going to be on Wepe. That must have been for dissent. He had to have said something to the officials. So in the 14th minute, we have our first card of the game. He wasn't involved in that, uh, I should say melee, I'll just say 
meeting of the meeting of the minds and the bodies. But Wape goes into the book. So we're interesting to see if Flower City will go after him. He has played in the midfield. But certainly a player that Union can target potentially. I'm still trying to strain things. I'm not gonna what's going on here? We have a referee has a red card in his hand. I'm not sure why. No, it's just gonna he's gonna write down Wataya Mubape's name into the book. There's gonna be a uncontested drop ball here for Flower City. And Basele will start play again. So after all that, we have a yellow card and possession for the home side. So looking for a long ball, maybe, for Bolduc. And well, we shepherded it out of play. And over the line for a goal kick by Anatoly Papalita. And those are the balls that usually you see Malik Stewart running onto, but he is on the bench tonight. Is available for substitution, though. Other subs available is Angelo Calfo, John Requeo, Oscar Sanchez, Malik Shahid, Mitchell Brickman, Adam Saif, and Ali Alamari. Right. Frederico Polk, who's still out injured. Chattanooga back in play. Put in the back for Bowers. Long ball up from Mwepe. It just got booked. Sally on him. There's a little ball in the box. Nagelstad has it. It's, it's put out of play by Kyle Nelson. It'll be a throw deep in the corner for Chattanooga. They're keeping a very close eye on the number 99. That's for sure. 12 goals this season leads Nisa. One head of a couple of other players. One from Maryland, one from Michigan. And now we're going to have another talking to by the referee. This rate, we're going to have about 20 minutes of stoppage time. 17th minute, still no score, but no lack of action, that's for sure. This will be a long throw, potentially, for Chattanooga. Here it comes. Ball comes off ahead. That should be a goal kick, and it is. Pretty even match so far. Neither goalie has been tested yet to make a save. A couple of corners for Flower City. But so far, Union's done a good job on the defensive side as well. Really no decent chances yet for Chattanooga. But they only need one with the defense they have. One goal which might be enough tonight. Here's Elias at three goals against Detroit. He goes down, no call. Breaking away is McGrath on the ball. The Englishman. Wepe again. I'll work on that right side. Kavanaugh right with him. Lee also over there marking closely. A little nice one-two there. Wepe gets it back. Plays it deep into the corner. Kavanaugh right on him. Wepe spinning, twisting, turning. And Kavanaugh does very well. And it's only a throw-in for Chattanooga, and it's going to be another long one potentially. We'll see if they decide to go that route again. It's Kabuzuki going over there, I believe, to take the long throw. Certainly is a weapon. You don't see that very often in the pro game. You see a lot more in high school. You know, a number of specialized long throwers back, back when I was in high school, back in the dark ages. Kabuzuki is going to play it short. Ball in the, in the box, back out. Wape, McGrath, Nagelstadt trying to turn. Nagelstadt right at the edge of the edge of the area. Wape, Logan Lee is down, no stoppage. Mubape to the byline and the first corner for Chattanooga. That's played off Kavanaugh. So we'll see for, for Anatoly Prepolita, six foot four. Nagelstadt will certainly be up there. Union putting everybody in the box, and now Lee's going to be escorted off. Might be some blood. Lee is not happy. He may have taken a shot to the chops. He's, he is upset. 
So they're looking at the replay there, seeing what happened with Logan Lee. So right now, Union playing with just 10. Be corner for Chattanooga in the 19th, moving into the 20th minute. They played short. Ball played up, and that play off the training ground went awry. Nagelstedt tried to play it forward, but couldn't get the runner. It's going to be a goal kick, so maybe they'll have to train a little harder on that one. Yeah, looking to put another jersey on Logan Lee. He must he must be bleeding. That's why they had to take him off. Union right now playing with 10, so they want to weather the storm here. Here comes Chattanooga and a nice defensive play by Ortiz. Chattanooga wins it back. McGrath, Kapazuki. Moving forward, everybody now in the Flower City half. Wepe again. Just keep looking for him. Over and over again. Ball played right off of Ferreira, but Union does win it back. And back for Mejia, and Nagelsal just play off of him. Actually, I check that McGrath. So Mejia will be allowed to come up to the edge of his area to play this ball out. And he will play it over to the far side for Cartania. Josue Cartania from Panorama City, California. He also played for the Chattanooga Red Wolves. So probably he's playing against some of his former teammates tonight. Chattanooga once again in the ball. Flower City has not seen much of the ball in the last 10 minutes or so. McGrath to the far side. Ball played inside looking for Nagelstad. is cut out. Ball played to the far side or near side. Wepe again. Looking on that left foot. Nice ball for McGrath. Can he keep it in play? Gets the crossing. Yes, he does. And it's out for a corner. Off Guiselle. Second corner for Chattanooga. They're in the 22nd minute. As the visitors and the top team in the league start to turn the screws a little bit. Corner kick for Chattanooga. And again, they play it short. Ball played into the area. Comes off ahead, and ball played in and nearly put in. Close call for Flower City. That ball was headed back toward goal. I believe it was Bowers who came forward and nearly put Chattanooga on, on the board here. Let's see that replay again. It was a nicely worked corner. Here comes the ball. It's going to be headed toward goal. And right there, Bowers just wide of the post. Probably best chance for Chattanooga so far. Logan Lee is back on with a new jersey. Elias. Cartania to Elias again. Flower City can get some possession here. As we're midway through the first half. 0-0 at the Rochester Community Sports Complex. Casale, Chattanooga's playing it forward and by Dixon, but giving away. Diacate trying to make room, trying to find somebody. Diacate with four guys around him, still with it. And Flower City keeping possession, and they're going to call a foul on Ferreira, I believe, or Diacate on Dixon. And the fans are not happy about that call after the great footwork. Well, let's see that again. Diacate was surrounded by four guys. Kept possession. Look at this. Look at these moves by the Union leading scorer. And Dixon was went down there, and Mr. Reynolds was just as close. He's just as close to the action, so he can see it much easier than me. Kapazuki back for Antoine, who has not had much to do recently. And Nagelstad gets out of that ball. Quaselli with a nice touch. Chattanooga had some men forward, but Wepe has it. Plays it square for Perez. Ibarra. Bar into the area. And can control it. It's out for a goal kick. A 
Chattanooga certainly has the better play at the moment. But they've yet to really test Mejia, though. They've gotten the ball into the box, but they have not been able to get a shot off. Mejia with the goal kick. We move into the 25th minute. No score between these two teams. Last time they played, it was also a scoreless tie. Down in Chattanooga. Well, he has one win against Chattanooga, and that was back at the very first time they played in Chattanooga. They won 1-0. But since then, they have not been able to record a win against Chattanooga. You throw. Fans trying to get the union into the game. Here's Diakate winning it from Dixon. Diakate sprints away. One on six. Let's see what Ali can do here. Maybe win a corner. Diakate to the byline. It goes out, and it's going to be a goal kick. Good play by Joseph Perez from Anaheim, California. Another player who played for Cal United. A number of the players from Cal United who were hoping to come back in the 2024 season. They moved over to Chattanooga, which made this team that was very strong before even stronger. Now Flower City pressing forward a little bit. Maybe forcing Antoine to play this long. Well, he's still going to play it short, right in, own, right in their own area. But now the long ball by Bowers, headed up by Nelson. Dicate gets pushed down, no call. Fans are showing their displeasure in the officiating right now. But again, he's much closer. There's another giveaway, though. Ferreira, Elias, Lee, Ferreira, and just again, a little too much mustard on that pass. Pharmacy not able to keep it. There's that scene again. Sure, it looked like a foul, but again, I'm way, well away from the action. McGrath, and it's going to be a throw in for Flower City. Elias throwing it in and getting it back from Ferreira. Elias into the box. Kavanaugh looking for it. Goes over the head of Kavanaugh and Kapazuki. Kavanaugh keeping it in. Spinning, trying to get on that left foot. Playing it back for Ortiz. Gabe Ortiz to Lee. Lee with a nice move, gets around one man. A little touch, in the box. Ortiz back out to Kavanaugh. Trying to go for a cross, here it comes. Comes off the head of Elias, he goes down. No, no foul there, definitely, no penalty. And Chattanooga trying to break out here. Ferreira trying to get back. Nelson comes all the way over and plays it beautifully and keeps it in play. Nice play by Kyle Nelson, and Elias gets run over, free kick. Nelson with tremendous hustle in the back, got to that ball and just didn't play it into touch. He kept possession and got the ball field, and now free kick for Flower City. He remains scoreless. Ortiz, Nelson. Ferreira coming all the way back for the ball. He likes to do that. Makes some room for himself. Elias. Elias up that right side. Inside for Bolduc. Ball for Diacate. Diacate in the corner. Perez on him. Diacate coming out. And now we're going to have a foul called on Bolduc. Flagged by the assistant. And Bolduc said, what did I do? Another free kick for Chattanooga. Seems like the fouls are a little bit more lining up for Flower City here. Chattanooga taking their time on this free kick in their own half. Looks like it's going to be Herpelita taking it long. And he does. Looking for Nagelstadt. Gets his head to it. Over the top. Looking for Ibarra and played out by Quiselli for a throw. Nagelstadt only has one assist this season. He's, a, he's more of the Terminator goal scorer, but got his head to that one. Nearly set up a def dangerous opportunity. Shirt tug by Bolduc, and referee lets that go. Off to the far side. 
Chattanooga. Perez, Perez, trying to make room maybe for a shot. Played back and taken away by Flower City. Ferreira, Ferreira holding it up. Finds Elias. Check that Boldick. Played for Diacate. Can he run onto it? No, he can't. Nice play by Prepolita to Bowers. And now back in possession is Chattanooga with Perez. And nearly lost again deep in their own territory, but gathering it back is Boyers. Bowers. I keep saying Boyers. Sorry about that. Mbappe has now moved over to the left side. Ibarra has switched to the right, wearing number 58, and that's going to be cut up by Quiselli. Long ball played in, cleared out. Playing coming forward is Ortiz. Ortiz get pushed down, free kick. A little bit too far for a shot, but maybe a, a set play here for Flower City. And Luke Ferreira with that educated right foot, he's going to play it quickly for Kavanaugh. As everybody was napping, Kavanaugh playing into the area. Elias swings and does not get anything, but Lee letting to run into the ball to keep it in play. He does. Nice hustle from Logan Lee. Elias, second bite of the cherry. Inside for Diacate, and there's the big guy, Jean Antoine, who scooped it out of the air, but a poor clearance there by him. Just threw it right to Quiselli, the captain of Union, as Ibarra is saying, it's too far for me. I can't run that fast. I'm not the flash. Cartenia. Now, half hour gone, no score. Kavanaugh, nice trap. Noah Kavanaugh looking to make some, something happen. Ball's muffled down. But Ortiz tries to keep possession. Ortiz goes down again, another free kick, and this may be a booking. That was from behind. And it is a booking for Alex McGrath, it looks like. Dixon pleading his case, but McGrath's gonna go into the book in the 31st minute for that tackle from behind. On Ortiz. That's the second time that Ortiz has been fouled in the last minute. That was a cynical foul there. That's a free kick and a yellow card every every time. So Ferreira, this time I don't think he's going to take it quickly. He's going to set up something here as... It's easy to see where 10 yards is with the football lines on the field. This is also a high school football stadium for the local city of Rochester youth. Ferreira in the area. Ball headed clear. Taken by Mwape. And he gives it away. Ball breaking loose and Quiselli will handle it. He's going to play it safe back to Mejia. Didn't want to give anything away there. So Mejia looking for some help. Gets it back from Lee. Dangerous play there. And ball is muffled down. And that ball just across the area. Mahe has to grab it. Wow. Nearly disaster for Flower City. As Dixon charged, Mahe got his body onto that ball and it rolled toward goal. But Mahe was able to grab it and keep the game scoreless. Now Mahe launches it downfield off Elias. Boldick traps it down. Here comes Flower City on the attack in the 33rd minute. Boldick, Diacate, can he turn and shoot? He does, just over the top. Nice quick passing and shooting there from Flower City. Boldick right to Diacate and wasted no time, spun and shot the ball. And just over Antoine. That would have been dangerous, for, certainly. Purpolita. Ball played downfield. Union now has taken over possession here in the last few minutes. As soon as they say that, Nagelstadt gets it. He plays it back for Dixon. A few loose passes by Chattanooga have given Flower City some opportunities. Pepelita, Bowers, Perez. And he's forced back. Union pressing forward. Logan Lee. And they're going to call foul. The, the assistant did not flag the foul, but the referee called the foul. Well, that's his prerogative. He could do what he, he, do what he wanted to do. Thank you, Bobby Brown. And player still down for Chattanooga. 
Looked like it maybe was a foul. So again, we're going to have some stoppage time at the end of the first half. We had that meeting of the minds in the 14th minute that resulted in a booking for Taya Mwape for dissent. And now we just had a incident with Logan Lee earlier, and now this stoppage. So I'm thinking probably two to three minutes of stoppage time at the end of the first half. Ball played forward. Nagelstad gets ahead to it. Kavanaugh trying to run onto it. And cut out by Quisele. who just pop it into the stands and nearly into the, into the suites here at the Rochester Community Sports Complex. Apazuki up the touchline. Quiselli cuts it out. Comes right to Dicate. He's got some room. Ali Dicate, nice ball for Bolduck. Can he run onto it? Yes, he can. But it's tackled away by Bowers. It'll be a throw in for Flower City. That was the last ditch tackle there, or Bolduck would have been off to the races. So a deep throw for Union. Kavanaugh coming up from the back to Ferreira. Ferreira still with it in the corner. See what he does here. Back to Kavanaugh. He lets it roll back for Ortiz. Ortiz plays a cross field for Nelson. And Union switches play. Cartinia. Elias. And it's not in Elias' reach. Another poor pass. Get both teams having trouble with this quick turf here at the Rochester Community Sports Complex. A little bit slick. Nagelstadt just playing it anywhere, right to Kavanaugh. Ferreira. Kavanaugh's making a run here. Ferreira trying to make room maybe for a shot. Kavanaugh, Ferreira, Ferreira again. Ferreira takes the shot just wide. Ferrer likes to get on that right foot, making room. He nearly scored in the game against Savannah. Here he is again. There's the shot. Not far off the mark. So in the 36th minute, Flower City has been in control over the last few. Vasele playing it in a touch safely from Ibarra. Throw for the visitors. Kapazuki for Ibarra. Back to the Italian. Now played forward. Garcia Sosa. I haven't called his name much. Ibarra. Garcia Sosa again. Trying to play it inside. For Nagelstadt. Ibarra. Played cross and nobody there except Kyle Nelson. Here comes Elias. Elias has a tremendous motor. He just runs all day. And keeping that ball in play? Yes, he does. Ferreira. But he loses possession. Nice tackle by Kapazuki. Wepe. Perez comes up from the back. Tacking possibilities for Chattanooga. Perez, corner of the area, played out. Should be a goal kick. Nope, they're going to say it's a corner. Thought that ball might have come off of the Chattanooga player, but it will be a corner. And it's like Garcia Sosa and McGrath will go over. They've been playing these corners short, have Chattanooga. 38th minute. Flower City Union nil and Chattanooga FC nil. Again, Garcia Sosa and McGrath over the ball. It's going to be one pumped into the box this time, I believe. Here it comes. Far post. Headed back. And cleared away. Good job by Union. Ball played back in by Dixon, but now Ferreira can run here. Ferreira. Gicate's open. Ferreira with the ball. Ferreira and Gicate. Ferreira still in the box. Ferreira takes the shot. Big save by Jean Antoine. Corner. Ferreira wasn't going to be denied that time. He wanted to take that himself. Made room for the shot and forced the first save of the game for Jean Antoine. Ferreira working on Perez. Waiting, waiting. There's the shot, and Perez and Antoine gets up with that big right paw to put it out for a corner. Third corner for Flower City. And watch for Nelson, number three here. Ball played in. Comes off ahead. Cartania tries a shot. Nelson, they call. And now they're going to call a foul on Union, but fans wanting a penalty there, a handball. 
but it is a free kick for Chattanooga, and they're saying it should be a booking. Let's see it again. Here's that corner. Came off of McGrath, or Kapazuki. Cartania tried to shot. There's Nelson. Looked like it went into the, the back. One of the players, and then down to the, to the deck goes one of the Chattanooga players, and it'll be a free kick. But again, Union very dangerous on these corner kicks. They've scored a number of them this year. Ball goes back into the area, so it'll be a free kick. It was Kapazuki, I believe, who was down there. Prepolita will take the free kick. About 10 yards further upfield than it should have been, but who's counting? Quisele with the header. Kavanaugh runs onto it, and Union once again with possession. They've been out hustling. Chattanooga to the ball of his last 10, 15 minutes. Long ball. Diacate trying to run onto it. He may do so here. Diacate tries the spectacular, and it goes into the stands. Prepolita just sort of let that ball go, and Diacate said, thank you very much. And there's the shot, and the stands make the save. 41st minute, no score, but promising for Flower City. Antoine just taking his time. Referee needs to step in. This is time wasting here. And he's saying to Antoine, get on with it. Long ball. Comes off ahead. Nagelstadt gets ahead to it, but they're going to call foul on Nagelstadt for jumping into Nelson and the fans making a Bach cheer there. The Union has done a great job so far on Marcus Nagelstadt. He has had nary a look at goal or even getting close. They've done a great job marking him pretty much out of the game so far. But he needs just one chance, as all strikers do. He gets that one opportunity, and the ball's in the back of the net. Quisele. Quisele taking his time. No pressure on him. Back for Nelson. Now Nagelstad will come forward a bit. Quisele. Ortiz. Back to Quisele. 42nd minute. No score. Flower is not wanting to make a mistake here. That's for sure. Played back. And Mejia. And that's a giveaway by Mejia. Bad play there. Garcia Sosa. Garcia Sosa into the box. Played in. Cross face goal and missed wide. And it's going to be offsides. Now they're going to call a free kick. Boy, that's a long advantage call if that's the case. And they're going to give a free kick to Chattanooga right at the edge of the area. Not sure what the call was there. Let's see. The ball was given away. Sosa. I don't see a foul so far. Ball came across and cleared away. I don't know what. I don't know where the foul is there. I don't see any foul at all. Garcia Sosa did not get fouled. Ball came across. The ball was missed wide. But it's going to be a free kick for some reason for Chattanooga. I, I'm at a loss. I have no idea why this is a free kick. There's no, I don't, I don't get it. But I'm not the referee, so it's going to be a great, great opportunity for Chattanooga to go on the board out of literally nothing. All the our producers here are just shaking their head as to say, why is this a free kick? Because there was no contact at all. I, I, I'm, I'm at a loss, but let's let's hope the soccer gods are, are kind to of Flower City here. They've, if they have a goal here, it would be a travesty because literally nothing happened. There was no foul there. Garcia Sosa did not go down. And the referee can't call. I guess he must have called that he that Garcia Sosa was impeded or something, but he did not go down. But the referee called the foul, so over the ball is Mwepe and Nagelstad with a shot into the wall. So the soccer gods are kind. It's going to be a corner, though, for Chattanooga. Four 
44th minute, moving into the 45th. We'll see how much stoppage time. It's probably going to be three to four minutes, I would think. But we'll see if we get that. It will be a corner kick, though, for Chattanooga. Their fourth corner of the first half. Forty-fifth minute. Ball played in the area. Comes out of her head and cleared out by Flower City. Nick looked to break here potentially. Ferreira, nice ball. Played in the middle for Ferreira. Comes over his foot, has to run onto it, and keeps possession nicely. Quaselle. So Flower City made one mistake in that first half when Mejia's throw out went awry and then there was a free kick from that and it's going to be a throw for Flower City deep in the Chattanooga half they throw it in quickly to Elias Elias playing up the touch line but has played inside comes off of Dixon and that ball's lost and, and Agelstadt surrounded gets away Ortiz tries to stop him McGrath Ibarra, three minutes of stoppage time at minimum. Running on to his McGrath, a nice play again by the Flower City defense. Nelson getting back to stop that attack. Diacate. Ali Diacate leading the score with seven goals. Kavanaugh back to Quisele and Flower City resetting and holding possession. Just into the first Minute of stoppage time with no score here at the Rochester Community Sports Complex. In Flower City, five points clear of Club de Leon for that last playoff spot, but the Lions have four matches in hand which will start tomorrow. Even a point, though, would give Flower City a six-point lead, and they have a vastly superior goal difference, so it would mean de Leon would need three results out of their last four matches. McGrath playing up for Nagelstadt and played back for Perez. Perez up the touch line. Ball play forward. Here's Nagelstadt with some space. Ibarra. Ibarra into the area. Marked by two men. Comes off of Quaselli. Another corner. Another set piece for Chattanooga. In the second minute of stoppage time. No score. Goal here would be incredibly important for Chattanooga and devastating for Flower City. And now we're going to have another talking to by the referee. That'll add some more stoppage time. Mr. Reynolds trying to keep control of this match. It's been a little bit chippy at times. Again, McGrath will get, take the short corner. Ball played inside and comes off Nagelstadt right to Mejia. So corner is dealt with by Flower City. Less than a minute to go in first half stoppage time. Let's see if Union has one more attack in them. Hey, just taking his time here. See if he wants to go long. He's saying just play it, go up field, and we're gonna, he's going to play it long. Comes out of his area. And there it goes downfield. Header back for Ortiz. Ortiz loses possession. Wepe picks it up. Maybe one more chance for Chattanooga. Wepe slows it down. And ball breaks free to Ferreira. He may be able to make a run here with very few seconds left in the first half. Ferreira plays it square for Kavanaugh. And referee blows the whistle. And that's the end of the first half here at the Rochester Community Sports Complex in downtown Rochester, New York. Both teams had a opportunities. Best chance really for Flower City. For Ferrer forcing a save out from Jean-Antoine late in the first half. But at the break, we're scoreless here on FIFA Plus. It's Flower City Union nil and Chattanooga FC nil. Back with the second half of action in about 15 minutes. Andrew Batisti calling the action here on FIFA Plus. We'll talk. Welcome back to Nisa Soccer on FIFA Plus. 
here in Rochester, New York tonight, Rochester Community Sports Complex. Flower City Union with their final home match of the season and regular season match, fighting for a playoff spot, taking on the top team in the league, Chattanooga FC. Scoreless at halftime, both teams with two shots. A couple of yellow cards for Mutaya Mwape and Alex McGrath in the first half for Chattanooga. No cards for Flower City. See Flower City warming up. Chattanooga yet to make their way out of the locker room. Getting some instruction from Coach Rod Underwood. It was really a game of waves. Flower City started off very well. Then Chattanooga controlled about the next 15 to 20 minutes. And Flower City got back on the ball again. And they pretty much had the better of play for the remainder of the first half. Chattanooga gave the ball away a number of times. Best chance for Flower City was... Luke Ferreira late in the first half got a chance on goal that was saved well by goalkeeper Jean Antoine, the number one keeper in Nisa. Best chance for Chattanooga came late in the first half as well. It was an errant throw out by Mike Mejia, the Union goalkeeper, was picked up. The ensuing play ball went out for a goal kick, but the referee called a foul right at the edge of the area, but the shot from Nagelstadt went into the wall and the chance was stopped. So we stand scoreless. Chattanooga wins this match. They will win the Nisa regular season. If Flower City wins, they will go eight points clear of Club De Leon for that last playoff spot. De Leon has four more matches to play starting tomorrow against the Savannah Clovers at home, which is now Hancock Park field number one. Even a draw here would be good for Flower City. That would, again, would force De Leon to get three results in their last four matches. And after Savannah, they have two against Michigan who are still fighting to get into the second spot and, and have an outside shot at the league title. And then the last match is against Chattanooga. So this is Flower City's last chance to gain points. And like I said, I think a, 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 tr a tie would be an acceptable result, I think for both teams, really. Chattanooga, on every one of their goal kicks and free kicks, took a lot of time. So I think they're just trying to ensure that this game comes down to one goal. It could, be, could go either way. Flower City yet to score this year against Chattanooga. Chattanooga has only scored twice against Flower City. So far, the leading scorer, Marcus Nagelstadt, has been handled well by the back line of Flower City. He's had literal, literally no chances in this in that first half, but you know, again, he, all he needs is one. Don't see any substitutions for either team. This time, Flower City will go from left to right. No wind to speak of here in Rochester. It looks like the sky has cleared up about 50 degrees, so it's good soccer weather. And the field, though, is very fast. And that's caused problems for both teams, more Chattanooga than Flower City. So Flower City will kick off to start the second half as soon as referee Mr. Sam Reynolds says, let's rock and roll. We're just going to see what the coaches do here at halftime. Flower City has a great weapon on the bench, Malik Stewart, who is tremendous speed. It'd be interesting to see when Coach Sullivan might go to him to get an opportunity potentially for a break against the back line of Chattanooga, which has only given up nine goals this season. Absolutely incredible defensive mark. Here we go in the second half. Stephen Elias. Chip forward for Diacate. It's headed away by the captain, Richard Dixon. Perez gets it back from Abara and Played into touch by Elias. Both teams have full complements of substitutions tonight. Ball thrown in by Perez. McGrath right on the touch line. He kept it in play. Boldick with a header. Dixon cuts in. Boldick plays off of Perez and now played back for Bowers. And back, Bowers will go back for Big number 97, Anatoly Prepelita. Back to the near side for Perez. Gets around Logan Lee. He gives him a little bump. Ibarra now racing free. 
Ball played forward for Nagelstad, and he is much too, I can't say he's too slow, but that pass had much too much of mustard on it. They would have gone good with a hot dog, I think. Ball played forward. Ball kept him. Play. Actually, no, it went out of play. Ferrer tried for a one-time pass, and it went just over the touchline, so a throw for Chattanooga. I don't even think it was Usain Bolt could have gotten to that one. It's good. This match pretty much, pretty much at a slow pace today. There's not a lot of back-and-forth action. Both teams, I think, are being very defense-first in this match, which, again, is not surprising, I think. Elias, Bolduc. One goal, though, could change everything. Diacate, Diacate trying to get it to Bolduc, but it's taken away by Perez. Perez again. Ball played forward by Dixon to Ibarra. Off of Garcia Sosa. And a touch. Should be Union throwing it is. Elias throwing it in. Cleared away by Bowers. Ortiz. Ortiz spinning. Lee. Cartagena. Florida City with some, some possession early in this second half. 48th minute. Ball in for Diacate. Back for Lee. Lee trying to fight through two and can't do so. Ibarra. Dixon. McGrath. He's going to switch sides. Mataya Mubape from Zambia. Back inside for McGrath from England. McGrath still with it. Now to Perez. Ibarra playing it forward for McGrath. McGrath in the area. And a shot in the first save of the game for Mike Mejia. Weak shot there by McGrath on his not preferred foot. But good attack there by Chattanooga. They got into the box and Mejia forced to make the save. Wape again. Loves that right side. Working on Quisele. Wape with the shot. And right into the arms of Mike Mahan didn't have to move an inch. So Mahan did not have to make a save in the first half. He already has two in this second half. One for Antoine on that good opportunity in the fleet in the first half from Ferreira close in. Head up in the air by Bowers. Elias playing it forward and right to Bowers again. Repolita to the right side, Mbappe again. Nagelstadt playing it inside, Mbappe in the area. Mbappe with the shot, big save by Mejia. Rebound, and it's turned in by Nagelstadt. And there was the one opportunity in the 50th minute. Mbappe got in the area, Mejia made the save. Getting on to it is Nagelstad. I think Mejia got a, a touch of the second shot, but finally he was just walked into the goal by Nagelstad. It was a great one-two. Mbappe with the left footer. Mejia could not hold it. Nagelstad right there. Mejia saved it. And Nagelstad just ran the doorstep with probably the easiest goal he'll score all season. Goal number 13 for Marcus, Marcus Nagelstad in the 50th minute. And now it's all to do for Flower City. They must do what they've not done all season, and that is score a goal against Chattanooga in order to get anything from this match. And Union did such a good job on Nagelstadt, but he was right there as a good striker is. Followed up the shot from Mbappe, who really made the play. He came into the area and forced Mahan, and Mahan could not hold the ball. And Nagelstadt was right there. And a second chance for him off the initial stop by Mahia gives Chattanooga the 1 0 lead in the 50th minute. Let's see what. Flower City does here. Try to get back into this game. They played so well in the first half. and One opportunity, as I said. And right there, it's the goal. Lee. Lee loses possession to Garcia Sosa. Mbappe, who set that goal up. Plays it back. Bowers. Mbappe making a run forward. Now he's about 10 yards off sides. Nagelstadt, Ibarra is open on the right. 
on the left. Here he is. Ibar into the area. Ibar with the shot right at Mejia, and he makes the save. So Mejia has been very busy in this first five minutes. He's made five saves already in this first five minutes of the second half. Fortunately, the one he didn't save ended up in the back of the net, courtesy of the big number 99, Marcus Nagelstadt. And it's his ninth goal against Flower City in two seasons. Incredible. Cartagena and Nikate went one way, the ball went the other. Back to Antoine. He'll pick it up and play it out for Dixon. Still plenty of time left, just the 52nd minute. Ball breaks free to Lee again, a bad pass by Chattanooga, Kavanaugh, Lee, can Flower City find a way past this brick wall defense of Chattanooga who now have everybody behind the ball. We're going to think they're going to try to protect this one goal lead. Nelson, Nelson gets away from Nagelstadt, playing it forward, good ball. And nope, it's not a good ball because Kavanaugh's offsides. And Diacate saying, wait a minute, this defender played him onside, Perez. Dikade not happy. Hard to tell from the camera angle we have. We're watching Kavanaugh. It's definitely the linesman's call. He called it offside. So free kick for Chattanooga. With a 1-0 lead and a goal in this 50th minute by the man Marcus Nagelstadt. Ibarra making a long run up the field. Cartania's turned around. Ibarra's going to run onto this. Cartania takes the ball away nicely, trying to protect it, and Ibarra fouls him. Good play by Josue Cartania. So free kick, and Mejia's going to come over to take it himself. To bomb this ball as far downfield as he can. Mejia with the free kick. Goes over her head and Prepolita with a gets a big head to it. And now chance for Garcia Sosa as he runs forward. Garcia Sosa trying to get to Nagelstadt, but Cartania cuts it out, but it's won back by Chattanooga. Ibarra. Ibarra goes down. Free kick. Cartania got the ball, but he also got the man. So another free kick opportunity for Chattanooga and Union needs to deal with this one two goals might be asking too much here's Ibarra Cartagena got the ball but he definitely also got the ankle so let's see what Chattanooga draws up here Nagelstadt's over the ball and so is Mbappe being very careful and saying the ball is not going to start taking a lot of time too you know, the fans not getting on him saying hey come on he wants the exact spot of where that where that foul took place wasting a lot of time as a good professional will do I mean Nagelstad is 32 years old he's played this game a long time been many years in the second division of Norway so Nagelstad's over the ball is he going to take a rip here Maybe look for that upper corner. Mbappe is open on the left side here. But I think Nagosat's going to have a go. It's a five-man wall, now a six-man wall for Flower City. Nagelstadt looking for goal number 14 of the season. He takes the rip, and a big save by Mejia. Here's Mbappe, and he misses wide. And Nagelstadt is like, darn it. I thought that ball was in, but... Mejia comes up big and keeps it a one goal game. Post headed for the near lower corner and Mejia got over well to push it aside. Here's the replay. Nagelstadt, beautiful free kick and Mejia got over well to save it and then Mbappe couldn't get that second shot on frame. But once again, Chattanooga takes it away. Ibarra, Ibarra into the box and Nelson with a clearance and Nelson's down and no call. 
Cartania say, where's the booking? Nelson got hammered there on that clearance. He's been a rock in the back as Kyle Nelson this season for Flower City. Done an excellent job pairing with Mumbe Quisele. Referee now going over to ask how he is. Nelson's not happy. He definitely wanted it. It is a free kick, but not a yellow card. I'm not sure who that foul would have been on. Now, again, McGrath and Mbappe both have yellows, so a red card here would definitely change the complexion of this game. Ortiz. Vasele. Playing it forward, and that's not a good ball there. Cut out easily by Chattanooga, and they get possession back. Here comes McGrath. McGrath for Wepe. Down that far side. Working on Quisele. Now Kavanaugh is over on the right, left, on that on the left side as well, as he usually is. And Chang will go play it back. Bowers. Let's the ball roll. Perez. Elias comes up to meet him. Garcia Sosa. Now tackle by Ortiz. Here comes Cartagena. Avoids the tackle. Elias, but it's swept away by Perez. There's a throw for Flower City in the 58th minute. Down a goal. Marcus Nagelstadt in the 50th minute. Wonder when Coach Sullivan might make a move here. Right now, Flower City is a minus three goal difference if you're counting that. And Lee De Leon is a minus 11. So it's still a decent goal differential for Flower City. They don't want, definitely want to give up any more goals, though. This result holds. Two victories for Club De Leon would put them into the postseason ahead of Flower City. Masele to Kavanaugh. Noah Kavanaugh playing it back to Lee. He's spinning on Dixon. Everybody back in the Chattanooga half. Kavanaugh. And it's going to be a corner. First corner of the second half for Flower City. Fourth overall. Chattanooga definitely playing defense first now. and Look to maybe break out on the counter. But they're going to try to keep this one goal lead. If I was Coach Rod Underwood, I would do the same thing. Depend on his defense, which he's done all season long. Here comes the set piece. Into the area. Cleared away off the line. Good corner there by Ferreira. Down on the, down on the deck is Ortiz. And they're going to call free kick for Flower City, I believe. But Dixon must have got a foot in there a little too aggressively. So will be a free kick, and now Kavanaugh's going to come over with that left foot, and he plays it as an in-swinger in toward goal. And this is how Logan Lee scored that goal in the 98th minute against San Diego. A very similar situation. A little further out, but same idea. The ball's going to come dipping in toward goal with that left foot. Three-man wall for Chattanooga, which is a little surprising. I don't think Kavanaugh's going to have a go from here. He's going to look to chip that ball in. Look for a running header, maybe get Diacate or Nelson. Here it comes. There's the free kick. It's going to be Antoine coming out well to take it and gather it in for Chattanooga. Not enough pace on that ball, and Antoine was able to come right off his line and pick it out of the air. Perez played up the touchline, looking for Nagelstadt. Nelson's right there. He's going to spin on Nagelstadt and bring it up field. Good ball. Oh, and now give away. And Ortiz holding back so Sosa. And that's going to be a yellow. It's got to be yellow. Or could if it's a red, that would be terrible. I don't think it is. It's going to be a red card. And that's that's a very harsh call. 
There was a man back for Flower City. It was not last man back. But Ortiz is going to be sent off. And he is inconsolable. Let's look at that again. So Ortiz lost the ball. Let's see if there's a man back. Not at that. The, the, well, I guess you can say there was Nelson did not get back. The ball was committed way back outside of the area. But this really changes things now. In the 61st minute, Flower City's Gabe Ortiz is sent off for a last man back tackle. So Flower City will play the last half hour with 10 men. But Flower City also scored against Albion San Diego in the 98th minute with 10 men due to having used all their subs and an injury to Frederick Apoku. Boy, Gabe Ortiz is very upset. He knows he knows he made a mistake there, but here's Nagelstadt with the free kick, and that's not even on target. Poor one there from Marcus. So it's still 1-0, and now Flower City will have to do it with 10 men Mike Mejia in goal. So basically it's going to be a 4-4-1 four, four, type formation now for Flower City. Diacate will stay forward. Nelson. And now Chattanooga pressing. Nelson brings it away and he still has it. Good run there by Kyle Nelson to Elias. Bolduck's up with him. Bolduck is on side. Bolduck into the area. Comes through, header, and Antoine comes out and grabs it, and Elias was there. Actually, I think that was Logan Lee that was there, nearly. Actually, no, that was Ferreira. Well, I'll, get, I'll get it right, don't worry. It's the last game of the season. Boy, if, they, if that had come through with a, a straight header, that may have been the equalizer. It was a great ball in by Bolduck. But Ferreira could not get a clear header to it, and it was grabbed by... Antoine. 64th minute, it's Flower City Union nil, Chattanooga one. Marcus Nagelstadt with the goal in the 50th minute and Union playing with 10 men after Gabe Ortiz was red carded. Here comes Perez. Perez into the area, he goes down and that's gonna be no call. Cartania for Flower City. Elias, Elias spins away. Inside, good ball. Cut. Diacate, he's got a lot of space. He's going to switch play to Kavanaugh. And once again, Chattanooga just going to play defense first, put everybody behind the ball. Lee back to Quisele. What can Flower City do to unlock this Chattanooga defense that's given up just nine goals all season and none to Flower City so far this in three matches, three and a half matches actually. Flower City just needs to take their time, look for an opportunity. Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh's still with it. Back for Coselli. Still plenty of time, but only in the 65th minute. Cartania to Nelson. Cartania again. Now finally, Chenu comes forward. They have to go back to Mejia. Now for Quiselli, so ball still in the flowers that he have. Now a long run up forward for Kavanaugh. Can he get onto it? No, he can't. He lifts his hand saying, great ball there, Mumbi, but I couldn't get onto it. Sorry. So it's going to be a throw in for Chattanooga. Still no substitutions yet in this match. Lee tries to steal it, but Brought away, and now it's going to be a free kick, though, for Flower City as Lee gets the call. So here's an opportunity now. Chance for Flower City to pump one into the box. Ferrer's going to be over the ball here. Nagelstadt's right in front of him. He'll have to go back about 10 yards. Referee saying, let's go, boys. So Flower City going to bring everybody up. For Nelson here again. He's the 
Expert with the head. Ferreira needs to get a good ball in there away from Antoine. 67th minute. Shot played in right at Antoine. And he just takes it and goes to his stomach. Antoine will release for Perez. Back to Antoine. And Yacate running hard here. Trying to press. Unigan's get the ball back. Here comes Garcia Sosa. He's the one who got that Ortiz to foul him for that red card. Lee. Ibarra. McGrath. One by Bolduc. Nope. They're going to call a foul. Free kick. Free kick for Chattanooga right on the touchline. I don't see anybody warming up for Flower City right now. The entire bench is warming up for Chattanooga. McGrath and Garcia Sosa over the ball on this free kick. There's three men up front now for Chattanooga. They're just going to play it short. Garcia Sosa and Ball played out by Diacate. It'll be a throw for visitors. 68th minute. Flower City Union needs a goal. Perez inside for Dixon. Dixon playing for Ibarra, but it's one, it's one back by Dixon. Nagelstadt forced back. Buape. McGrath and Perez. Dixon forced back. Get Flower City playing with 10 men after the red card to Gabe Ortiz in the 61st minute. Garcia Sosa. Chattanooga controlling play here with the extra man. Grath is forced back. Garcia Sosa. McGrath. It's all Chattanooga right now. Kabazuki gets it back. Dixon. Flower City hopes for one Aaron pass to leap onto it. Perez playing it up and all the way through and a lot for a goal kick. And Mejia applauding his defense, doing a good job. But the defense can only do so much. Flower City attack must find a way to put the ball in the back of the net to get points out of this match. Masele for Nelson. That's just where Chandruga wants the ball in the in their Flower City half of the field. Cartania will play it back for Mejia. Masele. Sally playing it forward for Diacate. They're surrounding him. They know he can't be allowed to roam free. I think it's going to be a free kick. Elias. Ferreira for Kavanaugh. Flaherty moving up slowly into the Chattanooga half, and again, everybody behind the ball for the visitors. Elias will play it far side, or near side. Check that for Bolduc. Matt Bolduc. Bolduc goes into the tuck end line. And it's going to be a, that should be a corner. Oh, the referee's going to call a goal kick, and that, that's a mistake. That was a mistake. The referee is now going over to Bolduc. Bolduc thought it was a corner. That ball definitely came off of the 
Chattanooga player, but maybe he was already out of play. Florida State is very frustrated with a number of calls tonight, especially that red card to Ortiz. I think it was deserved. At the time he made the foul, he was he fouled, he pulled back Garcia Sosa from behind, and there was no other defender there. Here is Garcia Sosa. Squares inside for Dixon, the captain. Spins around Elias and just plays it back. McGrath. Genuinely wants, wants to see this game out. We're in the 72nd minute. They're up a goal. Nagelstad. Perez. Perez going to maybe take one. Nope, it's going to be a bar in the area. Plays it inside. And shot wide of the mark by Perez. And well, he want that one back. Perez has not scored a goal this season. He was right in the doorstep, but could not get it on frame. So goal kick for Mejia. You wonder when we'll see substitutions in this match. Right now, no subs for either team. As we're in the 73rd minute. Chattanooga is very happy with who they have out there right now. I think Flower City is going to make some kind of move for some additional offense. They're going to have to. Mejia, out of his goal, gets taken down. Dixon plays it in and cleared out by Nelson. Mejia wanted the foul there, didn't get it. Now played all the way back to Jean Antoine. Bowers. Kapazuki plays it long to. No one in particular but Mumbi Quisele. That's just a giveaway there by Chattanooga. That's going to be a throw for Flower City. Kavanaugh will take it. 74th minute. Union down a goal. And now Wepe is pulled back. Referee says play on. Plays the advantage. Dixon. Garcia Sosa with some space. Ibarra's on his left. He's got the ball. He's Lucy Barra in the area. Lucy Barra. Nelson steals it and brings it upfield himself. Nelson's been excellent tonight. Hospital ball there. And that's going to be a free kick, though, for Flower City as Nelson was held back. And now we're going to have a some stoppage time as there's no ball available at the moment. Ball played into the stands. Finally grabbed. 74th minute now. Quisele. Far side for Ferreira. It's the guy you want with the ball. He's the creator. But he's surrounded by three players and he loses possession. Now I think we're going to see the first substitution for Flower City coming in in a moment. Ibarra. Ibarra in the area. Ibarra still with it. And again, Nelson with another defensive play. But taken away by Flower by Chattanooga. McGrath. Wepe. Edge of the area. Chips it in. Nelson again with the header. He's the man of the match for me so far. He's been everywhere, offensively and defensively. Elias trying to get out of that ball, but Dixon holds it. Flower City desperate to get possession here. Down a goal. Garcia Sosa. He'll take the shot, deflect it, and into the back of the net off Logan Lee's foot. Oh, terrible break for Flower City there. Garcia Sosa in the 75th minute. And that just might be that. Let's look at that again. Garcia Sosa with the ball. Takes the shot, comes off of Lee's foot, and top spins right over Mejia's head. And there's nothing he could have done about that. Makes the score of Flower City Union nil and Chattanooga two. You make your own luck. You take the shots and sometimes you get lucky. So now Flower City with 10 men and down two goals. They'll need a lot of help. We're going to bring in first subs for in the 76th minute. Angelo Calfo will come in and Malik Stewart. Stewart can definitely make things happen. I'm sure he's going to be surrounded. Cartania will come out. Calfo comes in. 
Yeah. Jose Contenia had a great season. Didn't start till about a quarter of the way through and then was a rock in the back. Ali Diacate will sit down for the final time this season here at the Russia Community Sports Complex. He worked very hard tonight. So now Malik Stewart is going to have to find a way to use that speed to break away, maybe set something up. I'm sure that Chattanooga has read the scouting report on Malik Stewart. Quisele for Nelson. And Elias, 77th minute. There is Stewart looking for his first touch. It's won by Bowers. McGrath. Back to Bowers. McGrath again. Perez. Chattanooga has done exactly what they wanted to do. Scored a goal and made it stand up, and now they're up by two. Here's Garcia Sosa. And Chattanooga wins. They will clinch the Nisa regular season title. And it looks awfully good at this point, but stranger things have happened. Perez. Garcia Sosa. Dixon. It's great possession by Chattanooga right now. Holding the ball, keeping it away from Flower City, who are chasing with a man disadvantage after the red card to Gabe Ortiz in the 60th minute. Ibarra with a nice ball for Garcia Sosa. Gets the return ball from McGrath. Garcia Sosa into the area, takes the shot. Mejia saves. And Calfo will clear. A nice header by Bowers to keep it from breaking to Stewart. Once again, Chattanooga back in control on the ball. Now play it back. McGrath. Bowers. Bowers again. 79th minute. Union 2, or Union nil. Chattanooga 2. McGrath. Maselli. Knocks him down. Free kick. Beth not thrilled with that foul. Prepolita, the Moldovan, will take the free kick. Grath, Wape, Wape trying to make room for a shot, but three def Union defenders say no doing. Ibarra, Elias makes the play and he's going to go out for a corner. Nope, he's saying he was saying it was a goal kick. He told Mejia not to come out for the ball, but it's going to be a goal, it's going to be a corner. First corner of the second half for Chattanooga, and Elias is not happy. There's a lot of frustration in this match for Flower City. They had such a good first half, but the second half started off with Taya Mwape getting a shot off. Mejia parried it in front of him, and Naglestat came in. Got one shot off that Mejia got a leg to, but the second one, there's nobody there but the back of the net. And Naglestat put it in for a 1-0 later. Garcia Sosa. A deflection from Logan Lee made it 2 0 in the 75th. Here's Stewart. Can he get onto it? Yes, he can. See if he can run here. Malik Stewart with his speed. Let's see if he can do something. Malik Stewart, good ball for Ferreira. Ferreira on the left side. Can Union find a goal here? Ferreira, double Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh across the face of goal, and Mola could not get onto it. It's a goal kick. Or is he, it might be a throw in, actually. I think it is a throw in. The ball went streaking straight across the field and out for a throw deep in the Chattanooga half. 81st minute. And Union down two goals. Ibarra loses possession. 
Elias trying to get on and went to clear it away. And only as far as Lee. Logan Lee, can he make room? Nope, and he gets it stolen, but gets it right back. Good play by Logan Lee. Still fighting for it. Goes down. It's going to be a free kick for Flower City as Lee went down. That's going to be a booking, I think. Nope, they're going to change the call. It's going to be, well, it's going to be a, I believe it's a foul, a booking for, for Calfo, maybe. I don't, that was, that's a little strange. Not sure what happened there. Definitely somebody went in the book. We'll check and see who it is. And that goal from Garcia Sosa Perez will get an assist. And that's his first point of the season for the defender. Again, we'll see if there was a see if there was a, a yellow card. We're gonna have a substitution for Chattanooga, their first of the match in just a moment. It's gonna be Juan Louis from Haiti as well. Played for Syracuse last year, so he's used to this weather. And Mbappe, who's had a really good game, will come out. And here comes Ibarra. Ibarra looking for Wepe. He finds him. Might be his last play. And there's a clip in by Elias. He's got a foot to it, and it's going to be taken away by Flower City. Nelson. Nelson with a nice short ball there. Played back for Lee. Lee cross field for him. What? Quiselli. Calfo from Gonzaga, my favorite college basketball team. And they have a good soccer program there, too, in Washington State. McGrath takes it away. Dixon, Garcia Sosa. 84th minute. And it looks like Chattanooga is going to win the NISA title tonight here in Rochester. The win will put them seven, ten points clear of Michigan, and Michigan will only get a maximum of nine in the last three matches. Now, Chattanooga just seeing this game out, just passing the ball back and forth, knowing they have the man advantage, so somebody will always be open. Ball played back again. And a lot of space for Perez on this near side. Ibarra. Perez. Calfo with the tackle. Strong tackle and he wins possession. And gets the ball back for Elias. Elias up forward for Bolduc. Back for Calfo. Calfo needs some help here. They just put it downfield right back to Chattanooga. McGrath. Garcia Sosa back for Perez. Bowers. Pepelita. Wepe. Waiting to come out. There hasn't been a stoppage in play as we're in the 85th minute. Pepelita again. You just might be running out of gas here. You're going to chase the game these last 15 minutes. Elias never runs out of gas. And a nice tackle by Steven Elias. Game is not over yet. And stranger things have happened. Manchester United won a game with two goals in stoppage time earlier this year against Brentford. So you never know. Ferreira up the touchline for Kavanaugh. Looking to get a cross into the box. Ferrer might try to make room for a shot here. But he's shut down. Lee, cross field, Elias. Union on the attack. Can they get something here? Stewart. Stewart loses possession at the top of the area. And just blasting into touch. And he finally can get that substitution in. As Juan Louis has been waiting about seven or eight minutes on the touch line. And now he's going to come into the game in the 86th minute. Just the one sub so far for Chattanooga. So 
Juan Luis will come in, and they've actually changed who's going to come off. It's going to be Ibarra sitting down. Sub in the 86th minute. Logan Lee did get a yellow card, by the way. A few minutes ago, not sure exactly of the time. We'll check that for you. Eighty-second minute. It was a was the yellow card. I'll play back for Antoine. Looking for his 14th shutout of the season. Still just nine goals. There's a shot in. Saved by Antoine. Boy, the ball was given away there. And Stewart jumped on it. And the shot was right at Antoine. And he made the save on his knees. Boy, that would have been a huge break for Flower City. And they could certainly use one. They haven't had many breaks go their way tonight. That's for sure. Chattanooga's had a few go their way. And Sometimes that happens. Here is Louis. Gets his first touch. Garcia Sosa back for Dixon. He says, slow it down. Take your time. Make the simple pass. 88th minute. That's all they're doing now. Garcia Sosa just holding the ball, forcing Union to try to chase the game. And that's a bad pass from Garcia Sosa. Here's Ferreira. Can he find something here? Can Union get on the scoreboard? Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh coming forward. Into the area, headed up in the air. Dixon gets ahead to it. Lee goes down, free kick. Opportunity for Flower City in the 88th to 89th minute. And you gotta think Ferreira's gonna take a shot here. Get an opportunity maybe to put you on the board and you, don't, you never know Looks like at this, if I'm seeing this right, it's going to be six minutes of stoppage time. No, that actually was the substitution. We haven't got the stoppage time yet. Nope, they're actually going to be a substitution. They're going to, they're going to take out Garcia Sosa and Lino Beto Alvarenga will come into the game, but first they're going to be the free kick. Kavanaugh with the left foot there. Four-man wall for Chattanooga. Can Flower City find a goal here late in the match? Here's the shot off the wall. Wall does its job. Kavanaugh's going to race onto it. Kavanaugh into the area. And Antoine runs out, and it's going to be a free kick and three or two players down for Chattanooga. But it'll be a free kick for the visitors. And what last thing Chandra wants is any injuries here. 90th minute. Okay, we are going to see the sub. It's going to be Lionel Beto Alvarenga will come in. we got to take off his warm-up jersey first. And Garcia Sosa will come out and the referee saying, get off the field. So, Alvarenga from Canoga Park, California, went to UC Irvine, another player who came from Cal United, and he's also had a number of appearances for our United States youth national teams. Played 20 games this year, has two goals and two assists. Ball played downfield. Now we'll see how much stoppage time the referee will add in. Ball's kept in, but right to Logan Lee. Calfo for Stewart. Stewart gets onto it, plays a little back heel, but Calfo can't get onto it. Ball's put back over the top, and it'll go out for a throw-in. Now we'll see how much stoppage time there's going to be. Three minutes of stoppage time. That's not a lot. Okay, two goals and a red card and a number of subs. We only, actually only had four subs, so could have been three, could have been four. Dixon will head out into touch. So like Flower City is now going to have to play the waiting game. They'll have a five-point lead on Club De Leon. So De Leon will need two wins out of their last four matches to, make, to overtake Flower City and make the playoffs. Herrera, unless a miracle happens here for Flower City. 
Lee. Lee spinning, twisting, turning, trying to find something. Kavanaugh in acres of space on that left side. Kavanaugh plays it into the area. Stewart tries to get ahead of it. It's cleared out. Wepe just will complete the clearance. Quiselli back at midfield. Quiselli playing it for Kavanaugh. No way into the area. And that cross goes awry. Goal kick. And one more substitution in stoppage time for Chattanooga. We're going to see Lenny Lopez from Rosedale, New York, a member of the Iona Gales for five seasons. Got that extra season for COVID. And let's see if he actually comes into the match. Right now it's still waiting. Yep, we're going to have the sub now. And it's going to be Taya Mwape, who's had a fantastic match tonight. He's been all over the field, up and down. On that right side especially. And he set up that first goal, which is the game-winning goal. Didn't get an assist, but he took the initial shot that was saved by Mejia. And then Nagelstad cleaned it up for his 13th goal of the season. So Flower City just could not find a way past Chattanooga in four matches this year. But they were shut out four times by who looks to be the Nisa regular season champions. Nelson plays a square, Elias. Elias trying to find somebody, but it's headed clear by big Anatoly Prepolita. Kavanaugh, can't be much time left. Stewart, Stewart around one, Stewart takes the shot and it's wide of the mark. Nope, it's gonna be a corner though. So Union could maybe pull one goal back. You know, goal difference could be the difference potentially in the season still. Not likely at this point because the two wins for Lyon would be enough. But Union would just love to get a goal to end the season on a high note. The regular season. So everybody in the box for Chattanooga. There's the corner in. It's headed up. Headed up. Still dangerous. And I'm going to call a foul, though. And that's actually going to be the final. Is it the final whistle? Yes, it is. The final whistle is blown. Mr. Sam Reynolds blows for full time. And congratulations to Chattanooga FC. They are the 2023 NISA champions. They have led from wire to wire this season. And they will be the number one seed in the NISA playoffs that will start in two weeks' time. Final score is Flower City Union nil and Chattanooga FC 2. We will have some goal replays for you. So Flower City drops their final game of the year at home. Eight wins, three ties, and 13 losses for Flower City. They have 27 points. And they are five points on Club de Leon, but the Lions have four matches in hand. They'll play tomorrow at home against Savannah, the bottom team in the league. And then they will host Michigan twice on October 18th and 21st. And then we'll go to Chattanooga in the last match of the season on the 25th. So for all you Flower City fans, again, now we just wait and see what Club de Leon does. They must win two of the last four matches to make the playoffs. Here is that first goal. Nagelstadt played it to Mbwepe, took the shot. Mejia to only parry. Nagelstadt ran in. Mejia saved, but then nothing there but net for Nagelstadt. And he puts his 13th goal of the year in the back of the net. His ninth goal against Flower City Union in his career. And he does a little dance. That made it 1-0 in the 50th minute. And probably the key moment in the match, really, the 60th minute. And I believe we're going to no, we're going to see the goal here. And it's the shot from Garcia Sosa. Hit the foot of Logan Lee. Took a wicked top spin right over the head of Mejia in the 75th minute. They gave Perez the assist. And that was the two goals for Chattanooga. The key man in the match, though, was the 60th minute when Garcia Sosa actually broke free. And when it was about 30 yards of goal, actually. But at that time, there was no one else back. And Gabe Ortiz grabbed him from behind. And the referee, rightly so, 
produced the red card. And tragedy for Gabe Ortiz. He was in tears leaving the field. He knows what this match meant for Flower City. And that gave Chattanooga a man advantage. And really at that point, they took over the match. Played possession football. And they very rarely gave it away after that. And got that second goal, which really slammed the door for Flower City. So Chattanooga moves their season now to 14 wins, 7 ties, and 1 loss. A tremendous record for Chattanooga. And they will be a very hard team to beat in the playoffs. They'll have the home field advantage as long as they're in the playoffs. 